so uh, we might, uh, are you copying me okay? Yeah, no, very good, very good, very good copy there, no problem at all. I'm surprised to hear you, really. <laughs> I thought you can't get this, uh, I thought you can't get that repeater, so, no, it's really well. Maybe you're getting in through something else, over. No, over. No, I'm direct. Um, it just, um, if I'm on verticals or so on, sometimes this part is a bit dodgy. But I'm um, using my satellite array, and I thought I'll point it in the general direction and um, see what transpires. So um, uh, that's the story. I, um, uh, I'm quite pleased to hear that. And um, there's not many local stations operating on D-Star. I certainly work around the traps, but um, it's good to use this repeater, go ahead. Yeah, this one is heard everywhere. Uh, at the moment it's linked to uh, to DCS489Q. And uh, yeah, I, I don't know how many people you can hear, hear how far it goes, but uh, uh, yeah, it goes it goes a long way this one. So we're not just in uh, in our local area, Roy. Over. In many years gone by, um, Roland, I was a member of the COP. In fact, I was at the foundation mem uh, meeting way back when, and that was back in the. Um, I'm just trying to think, but it must, it must have been in the 70s uh, when this radio club started. So uh, it, um, it's had a good record with uh, repeaters and so on. But at any rate, um, I, um, I don't know if you're ready to uh, receive a picture, but I'll send you one if you'd like. Go ahead. Yeah, Roger, Roger. I just got a... Um, uh, try and do the right things for it. <laughs> uh, let me uh, let me see. Um, uh, I'm using the nine seven hundred, so um, yeah, um, it's been a while. <laughs> so you're using this. You're using the seven or five, right? Okay, well done, Roger, Roger. Um, I'm I'm there already, so I think I'm okay. Um, yeah, and I've got a uh, a picture loaded as well, so um, I probably have to just click on the picture transmit. <laughs> um, I guess. So I'm ready. Ready. Okay. Well, I'll send you one, and then. Um uh, then you can send me one, and that's TXOR. I won't speak. You can do a reduced um, uh, uh, um, definition, if you like, with picture TX. But if you're TXOR, then it, um, you can't speak. It'll just send the image, and that's what I'll do, and I'll do it now. So here we go. Okay, okay Roger. John.
Uh, no, I didn't receive anything. So, uh, wonder. Um, let me just while we talk about it, I uh, I press um, picture transmit, and I can see something happening while I'm talking. It's uh, trying to send this picture. Uh, while you were transmitting, I I didn't hear. Uh, I didn't hear anything. Plus. Uh, I couldn't see anything coming down, so I just uh, um, talked to you a little bit while it's transmitting a picture, I believe, because it shows me it shows me the progress of what it's doing. And uh, yeah, also this um, repeater, we I, I can see ourselves being active on it on uh, the reflector dashboard. X-ray Lima X-ray 389 reflect the dashboard and uh, yeah so I can see myself on it okay 4FB and what time blah 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 I can't see you there but it should be showing me that my guess but anyway um, yeah it takes longer this way I know but anyway that's what what it's doing so whenever I talk to you it sends um, a bit more information and yeah so I'm looking at the dashboard as well at the moment so I, I couldn't see you there I'm a bit surprised about that but um, maybe that will update um, VK4 ZQ, VK4 FB over So I can see that it's uh, it's uh, sending, and it shows me where it is, the progress. Um, yeah. So anyway, I'm a bit surprised that I didn't get anything from you. Uh, not quite sure why. Um, but anyway, we'll we'll sort it out. Um, yeah. So what else? Um, yeah. Now you must be very busy when you you got yourself three new radios. And I know how long it took me to get this one going. Jesus, um, I was. It was easier for me to build uh, to build a transverter for 3.4 gigahertz. Believe it or not, <laughs> even though I'm not I'm not that good <laughs> at building things. But uh, yeah, I've I've built that. Um, I think uh, about a year ago or so, and a few other things. Um, I've been very active on the higher frequencies, uh, Roy. I think you used to as well. Over. up to 10 gigs 
and uh, my 705 um, I've tried out as a driver for the um, um, for the uh, transverters so I've got um, um, all the bands covered and the uh, 705 is a beautiful uh, driver for that it certainly uh, works well and um, doesn't cause me any pain at all so uh, um, but congratulations on building yourself a transverter that's good and um, yeah there's plenty to learn in these um, these new radios that's for sure but uh, this one particularly um, the uh, 9700 is um, is full of all sorts of goodies uh, and I also have the uh, 7300 and um, it's nice and straightforward and works extremely well drives like amplifiers if I need to and uh, uh, does uh, Whisper and uh, WSJT um, uh, no trouble at all there that um, FD8 um, works really well around the place and um, and on six meters it's um, it's a dream to drive so um, there you go but the 705 is a challenge because it, um, it, give it, it covers everything up to um, um, up to uh, 70 centimeters and um, w, uh, works on WSJT and RTTY and, and the digital modes as well as everything else. So, um, very clever little radio. Anyway, um, I'm still getting some of that picture, so back to you and I'll get some more. Go ahead. Yeah, Roger. Okay, uh, VK4 ZQ, VK4 FP. Yeah, so. Uh, yeah, just be careful if you use the IC9700 with your transverters because uh, a friend of mine, Chi Yu, uh, he did that and um, he, um, he he used a bit too much uh, power because it does remember the, the power, you know, but if you change, let's say, it remembers the power for 2 meters, um, you know, maybe you set it down to half a watt and then you move to, to 70 centimeters and you don't think about it, whatever. It could be set um, at, um, yeah, like he, he was unlimited. He gave too much power for his uh, for his transverters and it damaged them. So, um, <clears throat> yeah, so with the 705 you shouldn't have that problem. Uh, you, I think 10 watts, if you use it on um, with, a, with a power supply, like 13.8 volts or so, you'll have your 10, 10 watts but if you use it on a battery it's 5 watts from what I from what I read but yeah so now I've got uh, frequencies uh, at the moment I can go as high as 24 gigs from home like I listen to the to the, the beacon uh, on 24 gigahertz I've got 76 gigs as well gigahertz that's um, operational but not so much from from here so um, yeah been a bit a uh, lot of fun last year this time last year um, you were pretty active on uh, on 122 gigahertz um, you know trying for some uh, distance records we did quite well uh, single sideband we got as far as 69 point whatever that was, uh, 69 point something, um, 69.9 I believe, uh, kilometers in, with single sideband mode, so that was, uh, that was pretty good, pretty good going. And digital, we got as uh, far as um, 90, 92 kilometers on, uh, with digital, and we used, uh, we used the 817 for it with uh, the TCXO, um, you know the, the one you can uh, get a separate or whatever you can you we added them on all our radios and uh, the 817 was very very stable on on those high frequencies so it was rather good the 9700 um, 
needed all that work done to it to, to make it stable. I haven't tried it on, on that yet, uh, I, I don't need, I got all these 817s um, to, do that, uh, to do that job. And uh, yeah, the picture's coming down, I know, I see it only half. <laughs> Still a lot of talking to do, I think, uh, Roy. Uh, but it is, it is, uh, it's moving along all right. You, I think you, sh you, sh you can see already what, uh, what I'm about to send. You should have a bit of an idea, I believe. Uh, yeah, so that's what, uh, what, I've been, what I've been doing last year. This year, it's, it's all different. It's all, uh, it has all been about the 9700 because it kept me so busy trying to stabilize it. Uh, it, it, did, it did work on EME, um, on 70 centimeters and so on, but everyone was saying I was, uh, my signal was like a banana and the trace was coming down like a banana. <laughs> so I, um, I tried all, all different things like uh, GPS2, uh, where it re improved the receive very, very good very good for that but as soon as it transmitted uh, it started to wander off um, and the stability wasn't very good so when I put a fan straight behind the radio I have, I have a, a nice uh, fan that, that I put behind it as soon as I did that, that that sorted that out a bit but who wants to have a big fan behind the radio a big fan about 15 centimeters or something like that so until I installed uh, the Leo Bodner uh, board and uh, mini GPS2 uh, that that sorted it out um, it's now uh, stable and uh, yeah very good very good I'm very happy with it so uh, and really I tried everything on that radio I tried uh, as I said the terminal mold as well but um, yeah it's not I only got one person that was it then I moved on again <laughs> so <laughs> Uh, yeah, Roy, I better put it over to you. You've got about a, a bit over half the picture, I think. So anyway, um, VK4ZQ, VK4FB. Yeah, don't tell me I timed out. <laughs> You're timed out, Roland. Oh, that's that's terrible. <laughs> yeah, but that, yeah. I was thinking, afterwards. I thought, no, oh, gee. Uh, so you will not even get the full picture. So it's um, not very good. So you're missing a lot. I just want to ch uh, change it, maybe the the size of it. Just uh, need to work out how to do that. You can um, you can get your picture details by um, tapping on your picture, and um, you can say um, what size uh, picture you're going to send. And you, if you tap on the um, uh, the block of um, anyway, um, you can change the um, the resolution. But anyway, um, I'll um, I'll let you um, finish, and then I'll just send you one. <coughs> yeah, Roger. No, wait. I, I have actually uh, changed the resolution. Um, I don't know what's happening on your side at the moment, but this is, uh, I see it's going, it's acting a lot faster. So, um, um, yeah. <laughs> so, uh, hopefully it starts again from the beginning. If not, that would be a little bit uh, silly. But anyway, because it's sending it that fast, I'll stick with it because it's already half. <laughs> 
So anyway, now that's 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 good fun. Yeah, that this antenna, this antenna is a um, is a homebrew feed, uh, Roy. Uh, it's actually got a loop feed on it, and um, I've worked uh, EME with this one with, with uh, three stations, and it was rather easy. So um, um, yeah, I could receive them all uh, quite well, and I also had uh, fairly good reports. So. Um, with a small and with antenna this size on 23 centimeters, that is. So there's no there's no um, LNA in the front. It's just a loop feed, and the reflector is just a bowl from a scale I <laughs> used. Uh, so anyway, and uh, this this antenna actually just ended up in uh, in a, in an amateur radio magazine in Japan, just recently. Uh, Roy over. Yeah, Roger, Roger. Um, so uh, with with the transmitting of the of the image, you can uh, you can stop uh, even after uh, a minute or half a minute, and it will just keep sending it every time you transmit. So it's uh, I believe so. We wouldn't have to wait till the whole image is uh, gone through. There's a few packets missing. Can you maybe set your resolution down to the lowest and, and see how that how that goes? Uh, do you want to try that? Yeah, I, um, I'm 
on. Um, and um, we'll see how we get it. Um, I'll just change to the lower resolution, and that's done. And we're back in, and we're ready to go. And yes, I was fully aware that you could um, uh, you could stop and start. I just wanted to get it through. So um, why don't I reset the uh, repeater, and I'll send it through as uh, the lower resolution. Stand by. Okay, uh, here we go, and um, it's all been running. And hopefully now it all um, it won't lose packets. But I think the uh, loss of packets um, is very much uh, a function of how well you get to the repeater. When I'm using my hotspot here to move around, um, I don't get any um, dropouts, so um, it should um, it should work out. But at any rate, we're um, we're sending the image now. And um, I'm purposely continuing to talk just to see whether the um, the dropouts persist. Um, but I think they may due to the uh, the, the uh, path I have between the repeater and me. Anyway, right, we're coming up to an end, and there you have it. So back to you. Yeah, Roger. VK4 um, ZQ, VK4 FP. Yeah, Roy, now it's come through. There's a few packets missing. Um, I wonder if uh, if if uh, it knows what's missing. If if they actually rectify this in the future, uh, that you could actually ask for those packets to be sent again. If you know what I mean. 